Azure DevOps is very powerful tool for performing the CI CD and automation tasks. And we will perform our Android app CI CD today. Hi, welcome to Tech on Target. And uh, in today's video, we will see how what are the steps involved in creating the Android app CI CD via Azure DevOps. Let's start uh, first configuration of the pipeline is the trigger part how the pipeline will get trigger it will get trigger when someone will do action uh, commits pr to the test branch and uh, some path i haven't executed like some devops file which are not uh, relevant to developer like azure pipeline.yml i have excluded so whenever some action is happening in the azure pipeline.yml file no trigger will happen so pipeline will not get trigger when you are making commit pr in the azure pipeline.yml file so that's easy defined uh, the trigger part you can include much more thing exclude much more thing as per your project requirement then the second configuration part is the agent OS and parameters. We are using the Mac OS agent for our this CICD. Then we have some parameters. Parameters are like we can accept the inputs from the user at while running at runtime. Uh, when you start running the pipeline, so there are two parameters: list name and list nodes. In the list node, you can mention what you are going to perform or what you are going to some kind of nodes for your reference then uh, 232 is the release name and under that 10.6 is the release version for me uh, here 232 uh, if release name you have mentioned in the last web uh, mobile app you have uploaded to the google play store is 232 then you can't upload the same you have to make it 233 uh, different from the last one google play store will not allow you to make the same uh, app upload with the same number you can keep the version number same that uh, you have to mention in your gradle file <laughs> we are uh, pasting it from here to uh, to get this published uh, with the app itself so now we are using the build approach uh, stages approach to differentiate between the task like one kind of task in one stage and other kind of in other stage so we have the total two stages one is the build stage another one is the deploy stage in the first uh, in the build stage first task is the installed dependency task in Android project, uh, we use React Native Community CLI uh, as uh, to use multiple modules of the React Native um, through the node modules. Uh, when we execute this command, the multiple modules which are mentioned in the package.json file and uh, in your configuration file of the Android project, they will all get downloaded and present in your uh, will get present in your local directory to for the use of the next processes so this is the kind of prerequisites uh, some dependency you are installing before the actual build process and uh, some use yarn some use other commands whatever the commands you get uh, from the developer and how it configure it may vary depends upon the project to project so if we talk about the next step our dependency is now ready uh, all the files and uh, modules and configuration things are here now we can move to the next stage what ne next step sorry next step is the build uh, we will use the tool name gradle here and uh, it have some parameters you have to pass you have to give the wrapper files which is a gradle uh, view file where it's present you have to provide that path for me, it is present on the Android folder and working directory. Everything that uh, build process will happen is under the uh, Android. Then 
J unit we are not using here Java version there are some files of that uh, application which depends uh, upon Java so Java you also require it's uh, on the Java version 17 then Gradle options you have to mention the resources how much resources you require for that build process we have mentioned 4096 like around 4 GB of RAM it will require so now cube analysis we are not uh, doing so that's why we mentioned false and uh, sport bug analysis we also not performing so once this step will happen depends upon still again you have again upon your configuration it will generate the artifact either a apk file or a bundle file for you so that's uh, depends upon the developer and how what the configuration he map uh, then According to that, uh, in my project, we are generating an APK file. So what I'm uh, doing in this step, I'm mentioning that there is an APK file. You have to copy that file. And from that, co uh, when you copy that file, you have to publish that artifact in the drop folder. While publishing, uh, like as we are working in different stages, deploy is under the environment. So it may be the reason it uh, run after two or three seconds or you may want to see in the future. So you, after publishing, you can see the uh, at any time uh, of your, arti uh, your artifact. Now our second step is build stage. Here we are putting a condition like it's first uh, run after the build. When will the build stage run, then only it run. Then Second condition is the branch, like whenever build, <coughs> whenever this pipeline run on the main branch, then only this build stage will run. Otherwise, you skip that. Then <coughs> we are uh, having the environment here, like Google Play internal, and then mm, by using environment, environment is the features of uh, the Azure DevOps, uh, it's not the environment of your infrastructure. Like uh, you have the, I have make environment of via Google Play internal and and I have added some persons as a prover to that. And uh, like Mr. X, when Mr. X approve that deploy, then only deployment will happen to the particular stage. Otherwise it will re remain in pending. Uh, in a pending permission state so then we have the release task build this uh, all it's done we have the apk file with that with us it is uploaded in the publish artifact folder and uh, it will download it from and from under the drop this is the location where it is uh, present under the drop android app build outputs apk release then it's there uh, under that we are having the two parameters which we have discussed in the very early of this video both parameters passed here and uh, when the person on the google play store will see um, it helps or is easy to recognize or uh, recognize the app which app uh, comes from where and uh, some information as we are passing that this is the build number uh, it have very easy to recognize that so at this stage uh, our CICD pipeline is done uh, what we have done we uh, what we have achieved till now a developer push a commit the pipeline run uh, then it done the build create the build publish it then our deploy stage run when someone is approved uh, from the approver group it publish the it publish the apk file to the google play store now uh, this was the part of the cicd what you require here is the service connection uh, service connection is the property of the azure DevOps. It helps Azure DevOps to authenticate with the other uh, platform like Google Play Store, 
आई यू एस स्नार क्यूब एंड मैनी मोर हेयर आर सम स्टेप्स लाइक यू हैव टू मेक द ऑथेंटिकेशन यू हैव टू इनेबल गूगल प्ले एंड्रॉयड डेवलपर ए पी आई ऑन द गूगल गूगल इट्स गूगल क्लाउड येस इन गूगल क्लाउड then you have to create a service connection there generate a key there that key will generate against a id that id and key you have to enter in the azure devops uh, then it will start authenticated plus that id you have to add as an user in the google play and you have to give that permission to manage the apps so that's what, in that way your authentication and authorization will work and your pipeline will get succeeded so <clears throat> there are some links which are very helpful uh, while you will create the pipeline because uh, no pipeline is perfect you have some customization steps with respect to your settings your configuration your requirement of your project so like google play extension is there uh, you have to download it in the azure devops developer console uh, you can check for the app id and other things you require a your official doc is very helpful in that then setting up a service connection and uh, adding that in the google uh, azure devops plus uh, setting up in the google cloud is very crucial this link which i mentioned there is very helpful in creating the service account uh, in the google cloud so what you i'm expecting here there are some steps uh, google you have already have the project on the google cloud because you are already have the uh, google app with you what you need to do uh, that's project uh, it's creating the new project you if you want to create the new project you can go through that then when you click on that link it will bring on this link then you, from here you can enable that from here you will <coughs> move to, um, click on the next then you will uh, select the application data then next you will create a service account you will give some name meaningful name to your service account some description to your service account which will helpful in the future to uh, for someone else to know that this was created for the google play store then uh, you will create that it will bring you to the credential sections finally uh, before credential section you will have to give some permission to the uh, this service account like you will give the admin permission service account admin and uh, iam is not uh, required here just adding the role is enough and then you will reach to the after creating that uh, you will reach to credential section and in the credential section uh when you click on the create condition you will see a id that's very important you note down it uh that's will be different for you of uh, unique for you and against that you will generate that json key download it uh it will something look like that and uh, now you have to go to the google play store and uh, here you will invite the new user and under that new user you have to pass the email id and that email id you will pass here and then when you pass here invite the user then uh, uh, you can see permissions like <coughs> adding uh, itself is not work you have to give the permission so that it have the authorization to add the new version of application share then our this task is done uh, there is only one task is remaining i will leave it upon you that uh, adding that key and uh, adding that extension in the azure devops that's very straight forward you just have to visit this links i will add this link in the description of the video that will help you uh, to get up to there and complete your cicd pipeline uh, then this is the sample cicd pipeline available in my public github repo 
I will add Rappo's link in the description also. This is the uh, this pipeline step we have already discussed in the presentation. Uh, each and everything is same. It is just in single pipe uh, file. Easy to copy. Easy to work from, and you can perform demo on. I was looking uh, to perform demo, but uh, first we discuss this Docker file. You can perform uh, Ubuntu. This is a uh, like a bonus uh, for bonus point of this video. I'm sharing with you uh, Ubuntu. You can use the Ubuntu to, to create the uh, Android app. I'm using the image of Ubuntu 22. Uh, then adding some dependency over here then installing the node uh, which is requirement here it, if you have seen that we have used the macOS agent Android app can be created on the macOS plus on Ubuntu it's not like the iOS app iOS will only be created on the iOS only and uh, through that docker image you can easily create the now uh, you require the android cmd tools uh, through that tools you can download that uh, and auto when we will when you will visit might be after two months three months or uh, i don't know when uh, the cmd tool lens updated one will we have the different version so match the uh, links here and get the updated one node version you also change as per your project then uh, it's ready and you can use this uh, can say this particular docker file to build your android project and uh, that's uh, very helpful actually when i was trying some troubleshooting things on my laptop i installed the docker and then through this docker i created the image and started building the uh, our apk file now uh, in the last thank you if i was trying to create the demo but uh, i don't have the azure account so that's because it comes with the only one month period anyhow thank you if you have any suggestion any feedback Please share, uh, it will be helpful for us to improve. In the last, thank you for watching. Thanks.